Okay, Valve. You win. Portal 2. You remember that one? Valve? I've been waiting 14 years, man. So don't worry. Tell your writers they can stop. Tell your engineers they can stop too. Because I've got it from here, okay? I'm gonna make Portal 3. So good, I got your head on the range by the followers and looks. Movers in the crooks, beat down low. You need a ram in a bush. Can't debate you to the bait. A fish in a hook. Made a <sighs> good morning. It's it's 8:30 in the morning, by the way. It's quite early for me. This is early for me. I got a tutorial here that's gonna show me uh, the basics of making portals, so we're gonna do that first. Okay, we're gonna add a new object. Go to all and add scene capture cube. Okay, great start so far. Uh, nothing's exploded yet, not gonna lie. I don't know what this does yet, um, but we're gonna find out. If I open this up, we have a, th okay, that's kinda cool. It's like a 3D view of our surroundings. What if I click this 3D view? <gasps> Okay, okay, that is actually awesome. If I connect this to the, the UVs of the texture, this is the texture of the, the portal, right? If I connect this, something should happen. So we're gonna do that. Whoa, look at that, we got a portal. Holy, oh my God, that is so cool. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So now I have this, right? What if we take this cylinder, right? I rotate it this way, right? Okay, I'm onto something here. You guys picking up? Are you picking up what I'm putting down here? Let's scale the z-axis so it's kind of like thin, right? And we'll scale the the thing up. There we go. Kind of looks like a portal, doesn't it? Put that there. And then what if? What if I drag this material onto it? I'm done. I'm done. I, I finished it. I finished it, guys. That's it. All right. I made a portal. Hup. I gotta say, portal three. Well on its way already. This is not gonna be a disaster at all. I promise you. Now. You're probably thinking, that didn't look like a real portal to me. And well, you're right. We need to be able to punch through the portal and take a look inside. So that's what I plan to do next. But I had a problem. I had absolutely no idea how these portals actually worked. So I did some research and what I found out was very interesting. Let's say we have two portals, portal A and portal B. Now, when we look into B, we wanna be able to see what's coming out of A and vice versa. So how do we do that? If we put a camera here and a camera here and render what camera A sees on the material of camera B and render what camera B sees onto portal A, this will mimic the same effect as if you're looking through a portal. Then when player one passes through portal A, all we have to do is teleport the player to the new location. All we have to all we, <laughs> all we have to do is teleport the player to the new location. And boom, she went through a teleporter. Yes, I'm you're the, the portal. Teleporter. You're the portal. I love how you have to stand on your tippy toes to yeah. be in that shop. Now, this is really cool, but it comes with a number of problems. If I'm standing outside of portal A looking in at an angle, camera B still shoots out in a straight line. So what we can do is swing this camera out to match the character, right? So now they're looking at the same angle. Again, I think this is backwards, but you, you get the idea. I'm, I'm done with this analogy. But it's not just that, there's there's a few more tricks as well. So uh, let's go do that. Okay, I've created two components, D1 and D2. I don't really know what these do yet, but let's, let's see what happens. Okay, so that is my blueprint out in the world. This is, <laughs> why do I like this so much? Oh man, this portal is gonna portal so hard. Okay, I'm not confused yet, but I feel like I'm about to be very confused. You know, I sense it coming. Okay, so what I've done so far, I skipped a little bit ahead here. So I created these two scene captures, right? And then I added the render target. I created two render targets. Ugh, man. Being a developer is hard, Valve, but you guys really have no excuse. I mean, look at this. Look what I got. Hmm? I've done this in like 30 minutes. It's only taken me 30 minutes to do that. You guys can't make a you guys can't make a portal three. Now I've got a material named M underscore portal that is rendering what that camera, what the first scene capture sees onto this image. Now it doesn't look like a portal, it's just a flat image, but we're gonna we're gonna change that, okay? Calm down. And now if I push play, we have a camera over here. <gasps> is that me with the gun? <gasps> 
and a camera and a portal over here. <laughs> oh my God, am I? Did I just awaken something inside of me? I've never felt so alive. Okay, okay, we are, okay, and we're on a roll now. We are on a roll, that, that feels good. That feels real good. That felt really good. The, <gasps> look, look at the left. Look at the, I, I'm pointing on the screen, but you can't see. Look at the, <laughs> how cool is that? Wow, I genuinely learned something awesome today. Da, da, da. I am having so much fun. Now we have two portals. One is blue and one is orange. Yay, this is, this is the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. So if you look at my portals, there's a problem, right? As I move, the image itself stays static. That's a problem. I know Unreal Engine uses nodes to do its coding, so this is gonna be very handy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous about this. So let's let's see how this goes. Okay, get play oops. Get player camera manager. I'm supposed to use this, I guess. Okay, set world location. Okay, my computer hasn't burst into flames, so we are still good. If I save this and press compile, hopefully, and nothing works. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, wait a minute minute hang on this guy is loose we got a loose thingy hang on let's let's plug you in oh it looks like something's working kind of this one is kind of working look at that it, it doesn't rotate properly um so that's interesting okay i gotta i gotta do some fixes here but this is this is looking pretty good this is looking pretty good i'm uh, i guess you can call this progress oh i see i found you a little unconnected bit here Let's plug you in. Okay, save, compile. I'm just dumb, don't worry. Hey, it rotates. So I can kind of see this corner. I can see that portal. And then I look over here. I can see that portal and then I go over to this one. Oh, this one works too now. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting to get this far at all, but that's pretty sweet. I don't really understand what I did, but I understood it enough. So there's a problem. I'm standing right here, and so the simulated camera is just on the other side of the wall. But as I back up, the camera is gonna also back up, right? Affecting my point of view. But the problem is the camera pulls so far back that you can start seeing out of the world. That's not good, we don't want that. We're gonna, we're gonna have to fix this. Okay, so he's explaining a bunch of math. I don't think I'm gonna listen to it. Oh my God, it's like high school all over again. This is why I'm a YouTuber, guys. Okay, we're doing math. Don't know what's going on, but... I'm enjoying it. And so now when I go through this corridor to the portals, the field of view should adjust so that it always stays perfectly in line with the ground. Ah, yes. And then it does it on this one too. That is so freaking cool. So I hard coded that value. So that might cause me problems later. But for now, that is pretty unreal. Oh my God, I can't believe that works. Wait, okay, let's play with this a bit. And now they're side by side. That's so fun. Where else can we put these? Curious, what if this is like on the ground? Well, this one's busted. That, that, that kind of makes sense because the ground, the camera's behind the floor. So it's just rendering nothing. But if I jump up, hop, and jump in here, I can look up into the portal that's oriented the right way. So I'm looking through this portal. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> okay, let me put these back. It's a little janky, but it's mine. Val, eat your heart out. This is something. What's next? Good news, everyone. So we have portals and uh, they, they seem to be working pretty well. Okay, so this is the box that's gonna tell us when the player is, is is passing through the portal. So I guess when we trigger this, this is when all the magic is, is gonna happen. Don't quote me on that though. I, I, I still don't know what's going on. But I'm in a good mood today. So far, um, nothing has gone wrong. I mean, I've been doing this for a few minutes, but normally I, this is already spiraled out of control. Um, so this is great. Let me, let me try this. If I hop through this portal, hop. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, it doesn't go backwards though, right? No, okay, it doesn't go backwards yet, but we're gonna we're gonna get that functionality in there. Don't don't you don't you worry. Okay, let's see if this works. So when I hop through here, uh, I should be facing directly out. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, that works. Okay, now when I jump through the portal, we should. Oh, absolutely nothing happens. I fall. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, that threw me in another direction. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it so far, but. I'm really just following tutorials. I could see how this would be an absolute nightmare trying to figure this stuff out for the first time. Like I prefer 
figuring out things when I'm dealing with like animation and characters and more visual things. Like coding is just like a black box to me. This doesn't make any sense, but you know, we're having fun today. You guys wanna learn how to do this and try this stuff out? I'll leave a link in the description for all the tutorials that I use too. I guess that'll be my good deed for the week. Okay, friends, you're gonna be so proud of me. Check this out. All right, hop. It works and it's smooth, like it, it maintains a velocity. But now, watch this. If I go through this one, hop. <laughs> it works. Boom. I can keep going in a loop, jump, and I, I maintain the velocity. I want to go back, jump again. But how fun is that? How cool is that? Okay, I want to play with this. Hang on. One portal on one side, one portal on the other, and let's hop through. Oh, okay. Can't see anything. Oh, it's all janky. Oh. Oh, I think I know why. This is what the camera sees. Like this is, this roof is blocking it. Like this cube is blocking it. Cause it's, it's, uh, it's got four sides to it, right? So the camera is actually getting like super messed up. So that's why in the original portal games, one and two, why you can only shoot your portals on specific surfaces. Valve, I'm giving you a lot of doo doo about portal three, but I gotta say pretty, you guys have got, you guys are pretty smart. Okay, let's try one more thing, because there's something I, I've wanted to do since I thought of the idea for this video. <laughs> okay, let's try and do this. Okay, portal portal one on the ground. Portal two up in the air. It's not working for some reason. I, I don't know why. Three, two, one. <laughs> it kind of works. Hang on. Okay, that worked. Uh, a lot better than I thought. Whee! It works! Kind of. Oh, oh, holy crap. Portal 1. Sky high. Portal 2. Very high off the ground. Oh! Whoop! 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 Oh my god, that actually kind of works. Holy sh- Wait, can I land it? That's so. Ah, uh, like I'm genuinely smiling. I am genuinely smiling. Okay, so we are considerably higher. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off now. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> okay. I guess I landed in the kill zone. But whoa, that is so fun. I can't believe that works. Oh man. One eternity later. I'm in a I'm in I'm in a pretty good mood today, and I will tell you why. Your boy has made some progress. And like good progress. This is good. I'm actually I am very excited about that. If anyone's watched Dragon Ball Z, I, I, have, I, I was in the hyperbolic time chamber for a bit. So you you know I've made some progress. And I think in instead of just explaining it, I just wanna I I'm just gonna show you. So I built a little playground for us. Pretty cool. I added some volumetrics just for just some, for some funsies. And you must be thinking, well, this is kind of pointless because we can't like place portals, right? Ready? Check this out. <laughs> I got the gun working. Now the left click fires the blue portal. Right click fires the orange portal and they're connected. So I can hop through that and then I'll come through the boop, come through the blue portal. This took me two days to figure out. Isn't that awesome? So I built this little playground so we could like mess around with some of the physics and see uh, see how it works. So like, let's set ourselves up there and then just go through the ground, I guess. Hup. And now, <laughs> now we're up here. This is the coolest thing I've, I've ever made in my life. And I can sort of like use my momentum to like fling myself through and get to places I, uh, <laughs> this is honestly so, this is so much fun. This is so much fun, you have to try this. And look, you're probably thinking, oh, maybe he'll give us a demo so I, I can try it. No, I want you to make things and then experience the joy of making them yourself. That's that's what I'm feeling right now. If this was someone else's demo, I wouldn't, I, I, it's kind of cool, but I wouldn't care. I made this. I really want to get up onto this pillar. Can I do that? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty simple. There we go. That is so cool. I will say this again. This is the coolest thing I've ever made in my life. Coolest thing you've made so far. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. So I have somewhat got a grasp on the, the core mechanic of, of Portal 1 and 2. And I was feeling pretty satisfied with myself, but there's a problem. We're trying to make Portal 
3, not Portal 2. And with every new Portal game that's come out, the Valve team has developed a new mechanic. Portal 1 had portals. Portal 2 had the weird goop stuff that you shot everywhere and it, it you could bounce on it and, and, and stuff. I don't know, I still don't understand that one. But what would Portal 3 look like? Well, I spent a lot of time thinking and I think I've come up with something pretty fun. What if, hang on, let me draw this. I'm a big fan of this game called Superliminal where there's a lot of like cool forced perspective tricks and a lot of fun stuff like that. So I thought, hey, what if we integrated that into Portal? At least something like it. What about shrinking Portal? I mean, think about it. You can go through one portal and then as you go through it, you come out smaller. Wouldn't that be interesting? This would add an entirely new dimension to puzzles where you could like grow yourself if you wanted to like reach a new level. And the interesting thing is, I think I already know how to do this. So that is what I decided to do. And luckily I found a couple of tutorials online that was gonna help me out. But of course, nothing goes to plan. Hello, is it working now? Oh my God, dude. I just recorded two full days of work and I, I, I didn't notice my microphone wasn't recording the entire time. Well, the portal's done. <laughs> I'm a little upset we didn't get the process recorded, but maybe it was for the best because it was just mostly, it was mostly a lot of screaming and, and pulling out my hair. But the end result, we got two portals, okay? They're a little janky. I've, I've messed up the project somehow and um, I had to start this in a new project. So the portal gun isn't in this one either. It's been an actual, it's been an actual disaster, but this is working. Proof of concept is working. Portal three, okay? working and now we've got a regular sized portal here right now when i walk through this regular portal take a take a note of the of the cube size here okay i walk through this portal suddenly i'm bigger i'm bigger isn't that crazy and then i walk through like look at the size of the cube and then i walk through this portal again and i'm back to regular size dude even with the great tutorial this took so long to figure out and we can get smaller too. So let's see, let's see how small we can get here. So I can, I walk through the big portal and suddenly I'm, I'm shrunk. Now that I'm the size of the cube. Now let's go here. I'm even smaller. I think this would be a really cool addition to what portal three could look like. Cause we could add a door, right? Here's what I'm thinking. We can, I, I, maybe I'll make a puzzle here in a second, but we could add a door right here into the, into this cube. And I'm still a little too big for him. I'm like, all right, let's go do it again go through the portal again and I'm so small. And then now I could fit through this cube. Wait a minute, how small can I go? I, I don't think there's any limit to it. It's just gonna take a second. <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> Look how big this cube is. It's taking me so long to get over here. I will say this is super cool and there's a lot of really fun stuff going on in the back end. Again, I will link the tutorials that I did in the description. So we've got working, working portals, right? Pretty sweet. And we've got, combined with that, we have shrinking and growing portals, right? How cool would that be if I could figure this out to uh, to get the gun to, to shoot shrinking and, and growing portals? That that's that's gonna be a whole nother video. This was this one has taken a lot out of me. Though that that's 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 for sure. This was whoo! This was a lot. So Valve, there you go. Portal 3 is done. You can just take this as like a take this as a prototype and then and go ahead and, and make it. I'll I'll send you over the I'll send you over the blueprints. This was the hardest project that I've ever done. The video took me about 2 weeks to make and uh, I only have about 20 minutes of footage because most of the time I was smashing my head against a wall. And while some people would consider a project like this a failure, I definitely don't. I started this challenge with absolutely no idea how to do anything. I have never touched blueprints or code in my life. And I created a, a pretty functional portal system and the shrinking portals. So if there's any sort of takeaway for this video, it's this. Just make stuff. That was extremely hard and extremely challenging, but it was one of the most rewarding things that I've done in a long time. And now when Valve employees watch this video, they'll probably be able to crank out Portal 3 a little faster, so you're welcome. And yes, we will have to work out some sort of royalty deal with them. I'm not sure how that's gonna look, but uh, my people will be in touch. All right, thank you for watching. I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Go away.